Hi, Bob Greenier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and I'm just doing an update on the passive radioactive uh, nuclide remediation uh, project proposals. And the one that I've been working on uh, is the impact modified bismuth, because that has at least two scientific groups that have replicated this process in Russia. Uh, to a certain degree and um, sorry for the shaky camera I've, I've not got my tripod holder for the uh, phone here but uh, so I'm, I'm putting some costs together for the actual uh, impact uh, process and in the previous presentation I showed that you can get the exact it would seem alloy that was used uh, by one of the Russian groups uh, from Indium corporation and it's this extremely low melting point so you can actually melt this in a cup of boiling water uh, eutectic fusible alloy bar um, with its 49 bismuth 21 indium 18 lead and 12 tin uh, the problem was when I went to look to order this uh, you need to buy two so uh, excluding delivery it's about 496 so I'm esti estimating that will come in at about $600 delivered the ammunition I've had a quote for 20 pieces uh, the 308 rounds uh, and they are $30 uh, and so they have these tips here and so uh, there's some unknown cost here for uh, casting and assembly uh, to take this uh, eutectic alloy here, cast some pieces. Now, uh, because this actually is, uh, you know, very low melting point, we could potentially uh, produce in a 3D printer uh, a mold set uh, for producing these tips and then pour the molten uh, alloy into that um, 3D printed uh, mold uh, to produce these uh, pieces so this is an interesting uh, potential uh, for doing this work and then uh, we would have to take out these plastic inserts and put in the alloy inserts um, that's the bit that I don't know whether I'd be able to do myself or whether I would have to uh, get someone at the gun club to do that uh, anyway so um, then there's this 35 millimeter that was quoted in the Russian report as being necessary uh, for the steel target. And uh, I'm suggesting to have a cave. So it would be something like this. So you have this uh, uh, steel box section here and uh, the bullet uh, would come in from this end and it would hit the uh, 35 millimeter thick stainless steel piece at the end here which maybe could be uh, either spot welded in or, or grommeted in with uh, some uh, grommet screws coming in from uh, a cut number of size, uh, sides rather, and maybe even uh, going into some uh, recesses in here uh, to stop that coming out. Uh, if you have other proposals for producing this, uh, it would be much appreciated, uh, but I think this is just a simple box section of steel, a simple sort of a, a cut uh, section as well and a couple of drilled holes and, and uh, 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 screws going in to hold those out in place. Um, we've received some uh, self-developing x-ray films that were similar to the ones used by Lion and I'll do a separate video on those but they only took 11 days to come from India $39 for 50 of them this is the box it was sealed I unsealed that and like I say I'm going to do a separate video on these we have been quoted $70 for provision of the gun suitable for firing these 308 rounds it's a rifle uh, and access to the shooting range I don't know I did suggest at the time I would like someone who is an experienced marksman uh, because it's, uh, whilst I have done a lot of gun training in the past, it's a good number of years since that, uh, and I would like to be having more of the bullets getting into this hole because it's going to be 50 metres away. Um, so this may increase if I don't want to be firing the gun myself. And then there's going to be needing to be transport and sundries uh, to the gun range and uh, some potential labour, as I said. So... Where things stand at the moment is a total of about 1039 plus the unknown cost of modifying the bullets and the target. So what I might do is um, 
you know, uh, look at uh, what the potential dimensions of these are and, and mock up something uh, in 3D printing uh, process. Uh, but the most expensive part so far of this experiment is to acquire the uh, uh, specific alloy that was used uh, by the Russians. And uh, we have to buy five pounds of this. So that's a lot of material. And again, it, that's not such such a cheap thing to ship as well so uh, that is the cost update of course this does not include any cost for analysis uh, for either isotopic or elemental analysis however we will be able to do the x-ray um, detection with this and we'll have the strange radiation with the webcam and the uh, cosmic rainfinder and of course we can look for gamma rays and alpha and beta particles using the Geiger counter potentially that may or may not be coming off the impacted bismuth. So there you have it. That's the identified basic costs for the experiment to date, uh, for the actual impact part of the experiment. Thank you for your time.